last 24 hours. How good does it feel that the team found a way to win? I'm just glad for the guys that they were able to get back on the floor, get back to what they enjoy doing, love doing, uh, competing and playing the game of basketball. So uh, at the end of the day, that was the best part of, of getting together and, and, and uh, competing today. What was the message to the guys after this one? We got a road trip coming up. Uh, Chicago gave us a little dose of uh, aggressive teams and our ability to take care of the basketball on the road, take care of each other, uh, put us in a position to get some wins on the road. Jack, it seemed like last week you guys had made some steps in the right direction with the turnovers, and, and then today you had so many. Just what, what kind of went into that number today? Not completely sure. You know, I, uh, we even in, end up changing the basketball throughout the course of the game, which is doesn't happen too often. So uh, we complained that it was a little bit too slippery, and Chicago did too, and they changed the ball. So I think that was the first seven. The other 21 we'll have to look at tomorrow. <laughs> but uh, overall, they're an aggressive team, and uh, they always force you to not be casual. And uh, I think we were casual at times with the basketball. So uh, good test for us, especially going out west. Uh, Coach, uh, what did you think of DeAndre's performance today, and then did you use him any differently today than he's been used throughout the rest of the season? I thought, first of all, uh, both bigs were really good in their roles today. Uh, DJ's minutes were extended uh, that first stint uh, and I thought it just gave us a, a presence and a uh, some stability uh, uh, at the rim I thought we had some great verticalities throughout the course of the night and he was part of a lot of them coach you said before the game you hoped the guys would play for each other uh, it looked like there was a little more assistant coaching going on there from the guys themselves DJ was kind of hyped up again uh, did you feel like they were helping you coach and, and congrats on the first one by and, the way. thank you I appreciate that uh, I, I want it all, and I think uh, you have that communication throughout the course of the game. Even when we went small at the end, being able to communicate that to the guys is important for us. Uh, we'll start implementing defenses that if you don't have the communication, they won't work. Uh, and so it was good to see us, uh, at least for the first three quarters, communicate too many points given up in that fourth quarter. Uh Coach, uh, Kobe White came within inches of tying it. Is, is that your general philosophy, not to foul in the closing seconds when you're up three? We talked about it on the bench. Uh, that scenario presented itself that we weren't going to foul. Uh, but there will be times analytically where we will foul. Uh, but this situation, uh, we chose not to. Uh, Jock Harris went four or six from three. And he was saying the other night that, you know, lately he tried to be more aggressive just getting more threes off. How much have you seen that part of his game uh, develop the last month plus? Yeah, when he's making threes, he's really, really hard to defend. Uh, you know, he has the knack to get to the rim, get to the basket, uh, create contact and finish. Uh, and when he can get his defender to inch up on him, uh, that just gives him more opportunities to get downhill. Uh, I think he's playing with an extreme amount of confidence. And when you have confidence, uh, um, multiple parts of your game are able to blossom, which, which is happening for Karis. Coach, uh, you were the lead assistant for the past few years. Was there anything um, from watching Kenny that you utilized today? Without a doubt. Uh, the overall, whether well, it was substitution patterns that we had talked about, we were a very uh, collaborative staff, and so um, uh, on both ends of the floor. Um, so definitely, whether it was sub patterns, uh, whether it was some play calls uh, that guys were familiar with, um, overall, there'll definitely be some familiarity because of Kenny and I being together for, for these years. What was just your general assessment of the gameplay in that fourth quarter in terms of effort, effort level, in terms of execution? You guys were leading by 13, I think, in the third quarter, and then they got pretty close. Yeah, I think we took a few possessions off where maybe we didn't get a 50-50 ball, we didn't box out. Um, I use the word casual, and I said that to the guys in the huddle. Uh, the ability to lock in each possession is going to be a challenge for us. Uh, good thing we locked in at the free throw line and made some free throws. That definitely helped. Uh, but the rest of the game, we have to be locked in. Coach, uh, Wilson was plus 21, even though he only scored six points. What does he do out there that allows him to have that type of impact on the game? Somehow you want to put him on the floor. Um, he's going to give you all that he has. We appreciate that. Um, He's stable. Like each game, uh, and that's a great uh, place for a coach to be in where you can count on uh, that individual. And uh, he gives the coaching staff uh, confidence. Everyone, thank you.
Okay, guys, have a good night. You know, it's interesting. Prior